Hello everyone. Let's talk about faith. So, what is faith? Faith is the substance hoped for, and the evidence of things not seen. The substance is the reason for the hope, and the evidence is the proof of the things not seen. Without faith, I am hopeless. And without faith, I do not see the unseen things of God, in the things that are clearly seen. For the invisible things of God from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made. The invisible things of God is His eternal power, the very power that created the heaven and the earth, and all the things therein. So faith is the understanding of the unseen power of God through the visible things that are made. Let me give you an example. A bird is the evidence of the unseen power of God which created the bird. The bird is clearly seen. It is visible. On the other hand, the power that created the bird is invisible. It is unseen. Faith is the understanding that the visible bird was created by the unseen creative power of God. Another example, a living human being was created by the breath of God. It is the unseen breath of God that created the visible living soul. The earth is supported by the word of the unseen power of God. God always gives us sufficient evidence in order for us to believe in his word, which is his eternal power. So, how does one have faith in God? Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Nevertheless, simply hearing is not enough to have faith in God. One must hear and understand that which he has heard. Let me give you an example. When Christ bid Peter to come, Christ was walking on the water, while Peter was in the boat. For Peter to obey the word spoken by Christ, is for Peter to walk on the water to go to Jesus. We all understand that no man had ever walked on the water nor will ever walk on the water by his own power. And yet, Christ bid Peter to come to walk on the water. The power that uphold the earth in space is the same power that would uphold Peter on the water. So what did Peter understand when he hears the word come? He understood that the word is the power that enables him to walk on the water to go to Jesus. The word of God is not in word only, but also in power. Having understood the word come is the power that upholds him on the water, Peter manifested his faith when he walked on water. So faith is hearing and understanding the word of God, and his understanding of the word he hears is manifested in obedience. For faith without works is dead. Disobedience to the word of God is sin. For sin is the transgression of the law of God. Whatsoever that is not of faith is sin. To hear the word of God and doth them not is to sin. Jesus saves his people from their sins. In other words, he saves his people from their disbelief in the word of his power. And their disbelief is manifested in disobedience to his law. Whosoever believeth should not perish, but have everlasting life. The dragon is wroth against those who keep his commandments and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. The power to do is the power of God, and not of ourselves. Just as Peter walked on the water by the power of the word, and not of his own self. So faith is to believe the unseen power of the word of God, which enables the hearer and believer to obey the word. The power of God is also called grace. Everyone who believes is saved by grace through faith. Obedience is the manifestation of the unseen power of God. Obedience is the visible manifestation of the invisible power of God. The grace of God by faith is received for obedience to the word of God. When the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? We understand that Christ upon his second coming will not set his feet on earth, but will call those who are faithful to his word to join him in the clouds of heaven. To go up into the clouds to meet Jesus in the air, is no different than for Peter to walk on water to go to Jesus, which is by faith in the power of his word. To find faith on earth is to find those who are faithful to his word on earth. One must believe in his word while on earth to go up into the clouds to meet him in the air. For the character you bear in probationary time will be the character you will have at the coming of Christ. If you would be a saint in heaven, you must first be a saint on earth. 
The traits of character you cherish in life will not be changed by death or by the resurrection. You will come up from the grave with the same disposition you manifested in your home and in society. Jesus does not change the character at his coming. The work of transformation must be done now. Our daily lives are determining our destiny. Okay everyone, take care. Have faith in God. Study his word. Behold the visible tokens of his power in nature, for nature testifies of his power. May the grace of God be with you. Trust not in self, but trust in God. This is the measure by which we are judged in the sight of heaven. Our faith in God.